Yes, in chapter 14, uh, we have discussed 10 categories, how Venn diagram are made and how to choose the best possible diagram from the question. Okay, so we have uh, discussed three, uh, uh, three steps, okay, following which you can easily answer these questions, okay. So, if you have not watched chapter 14, it is strongly recommended you go and watch it. It is in our playlist, Target DRU section 2022. Okay. Students, are you ready for uh, this chapter? Yes. So, student, uh, the first question is, which of the following Venn diagram best represent the relationship between given classes? So, you have three classes. Uh, you have to tell the Venn diagram, which uh, is the correct Venn diagram for this class. Okay, so we will follow the strategy that we have studied in the previous chapter. So the first is, is there a relationship between given objects? Uh, yes, there is a relationship between given objects. Which is the biggest category? Uh, so from this, uh, from my perspective, animal is the biggest category. So I draw it like this. This is the animal portion okay so birds cannot be animals so we will make a separate circle that represent birds right next is find the relationship between given objects so we have to see in terms of some all or none okay so we know that all humans are some kind of animals okay in biology you must have read humans are initially monkeys so you can think of human are it evolved from animals. So, all humans are animals. So, all humans are animals. So, as you can see, option 3 is the correct answer for this question. Understood? Okay. Coming to the next question. Uh, again, you have to see, tell the Venn diagram for this fruit, apples and oranges. Student, this type of question has come in DRDO exam. So let's see the relationship between these things. So uh, is there any relation between given objects? Yes, all are certain kind of fruits. Okay, which is the biggest category? Let's draw the biggest category. So this is the biggest category. This is fruit is the biggest category. Okay, now find the relationship between given object some in terms of some and all. So all apples are fruits, all oranges are also fruits. And no apple can be orange or no orange can be apple. So this is my apples. Okay. And this are oranges. So this is very easy. Option two is the correct answer. Okay. Understood now? Uh, can we move to the next? Okay. So the next is uh, very important. Uh, this is animal land animal and sea animal okay so let's see the strategy first is there any relation between given objects yes all these three are animal which is the biggest category yes rashikar yes animal is the biggest category so we draw circle for the animal so this represent animal find the relationship between given object okay so Either it is land animal or sea animal, both are animals. So these are land animals and these are sea animals. Can land animal be sea animal? Yes. Or sea animal can be land animal? Yes. Certain animals like amphibians are there. Okay. They can be land animal or sea animal. So there will be a overlapping portion between land animal and sea animal within that animal. Okay. So in that way, option four is the correct answer. Okay. Coming to the next question, which of the following uh, relation represent the best relationship between rose, flower and leaves? Let's see the relation. Is there any relationship between given objects? Yes, all these are parts of the plant. Okay, which is the biggest category? Which is the biggest category? Yes, flower is the biggest category. So I draw this circle for the flower. So this represents flower. Okay, and flower uh, leaves cannot be flower, leaves cannot be rose. So this circle represents 
what leaves and all roses are flowers so all roses are flowers so what does this venn diagram this is option 1 is the correct answer okay this is very easy yes student this uh, questions are very easy and very scoring uh, if you have a little understanding of the relationship okay coming to the next question which of the following diagram represent the relationship between cousin niece and females so let's uh, follow the strategy is there any relationship uh, between given objects yes uh, these are certain kind of relationship human relationship okay which is the biggest category from my point of view these are female is the biggest category so i design this circle for the female this circle represent female now find the relationship between given object so niece niece are females all the nieces are females so this circle represent niece all the nieces are female now the third we have left with cousin so cousin can be male and female right male or female right but what some nieces can be cousin also okay so this represent the correct venn diagram so let's understand this is our cousin uh, circle so this region represent male cousins okay this region represent female cousins this represent female niece cousins okay so correct option is option 4 okay coming to the next question uh you have to find the uh, relationship between athletes sprinters and marathon runners okay so let's follow our strategy is there any relationship yes all these three are athletes some kind of athletes yes which is the biggest category athlete is the biggest category so we draw a circle for athletes so these are athletes okay now we have to find the relationship between given objects so tell me uh, sprinters are athletes right and marathon runner are also athletes and so we made a circle these are our sprinters these are our marathon runners so these two are athlete is this correct no why because some sprinter can be marathon runner also or some marathon runner can be sprinter also so there will be an overlapping region between these two okay so option 4 is the correct answer okay i hope you are understanding what uh, we are teaching yes yes rakesh yes anurag okay this is very typical one uh, because uh, whatever we have seen the questions there is some overlapping region okay so let's see the thing you have to find the relationship between editor and newspaper journalist students this question is very very important okay so let's draw the relationship diagram between this so there is no big category in that question right just we have to go for the step step 3 we have to find the relationship between these object so i made a circle for editor okay it can be news editor or it can be newspaper editor or tv editor okay so there will be small uh, relationship between editor and newspaper okay and uh, in newspaper we have journalist okay so again they are somewhat related to newspaper but not fully so they will come in the boundary journalist okay and normally a journalist is not an editor right so uh, it it will not be like this okay it will not be like this there will be no relationship between editor and journalist okay so option 4 is the correct answer okay coming to the next question okay whenever you find a name kind of question just go for option 2 why because mk gandhi cannot be umesh chandra upadhyay or jatin das or suraj singh okay okay so there will be no relationship between these uh, categories so this is mk gandhi this is 
Bandhupadhyay, this is Jatin Das and this is Surya Sen. So there is no relationship between them. Okay. Coming to the next question. Uh, this is very important students. Just note it down. Okay. Just try it first. Then I will tell you. Okay. Ready? So is there any relationship between given objects? Uh, yes. Uh, there is a relationship uh, between these uh, objects. Okay, which is the biggest category? Again, from my perspective, female is the biggest category. So we draw a circle, female. Okay. Students, all mothers are female. Right or wrong? Right. Uh, again, I'm telling you, don't go for the exception cases. Okay. This is for the general cases. All mother are females. Okay. Now tell me, uh, there will be some mothers uh, who are doctors or there are some uh, doctors who are mother as well as fem uh, female. So this circle represent that relationship. Okay. I will tell you uh, this is doctor. So this represent male doctor. This represent female doctor and this represent mother female doctor. Okay. So option three is the right answer. Okay. Understood? Yes, Dipshika. Understood now? Okay. Coming to the next question. Uh, this is very important again, students. Uh, you have to look the relationship between this. Uh, so is there any relationship between objects? Yes. Uh, lectures can be government servant. Government servants can be lecturer. Some government servants are doctor also. Some doctors are government servants. Uh, servants okay so le let's draw the Venn diagram for that which is the biggest category from my perspective none of them is the biggest category so choose any one as you like so this circle represent government servant okay so lecturers uh, okay some lecturers can be governments of servants so we make it so this represent lecturer who are government servant this represent non-government lecturers okay so some doctors can be lecturer also uh, in MBBS college, right? So this represent doctors, this represent lecturers. So some doctors are government servant also, some doctors are lecturer also, some are all these three who are government servant as well as lecturers. Okay. So those are generally found in medical colleges, right? So this represent that region. So the correct answer is option four. Option four is the right answer for this question. Okay. And that's all for today, students. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, we will come with more uh, chapters uh, frequently. Okay. And you share it with your friend. I hope you like this video. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.